Parker Dominicans have been providing microfiltration solutions to the brewing industry for over 50 years. We are trusted suppliers to the brewing industry and we work with brewers across the globe, small, medium and large. And through having a high degree of involvement and participation in brewing organisations, we could see there was a very strong need and a strong demand from the industry for long-lasting filter membrane. The engineering challenge to overcome was to produce a membrane filter which can deliver a long service lifetime, can deliver the maximum amount of beer before blockage and requiring change out whilst also being fully validated to the retention of beer spoilage organisms. From understanding the wants and needs from the industry, we had a, a multidiscipline group of people come together and the challenge was set. Can we bring to market a novel membrane which lasts longer than alternatives available today? The challenge that was set in this case was to um, provide a filter which would have a, um, a high level of retention to certain beer spoiling microorganisms um, but also provide the correct throughput and like the blockage that our customers would expect so they don't have to change out the filters too often. It started on small scale studies and growth so we had to look for the, the right microorganisms and the first stage was to ensure that we could grow them in the lab effectively to the right concentrations which were required in the test. We then have to go through a, a set of challenge tests, growing the bugs at a set concentration and passing them through filters at set pressures um, and flow rates and then assaying the filtrate for any growth. The acceptable level obviously to the customer would be to have no organisms at all in, in their final products. The testing we did showed that we could repeatedly retain a high level of microorganisms um, but still get the same throughput which was required. The goal of the feasibility study was to make sure that we maintain the, the flavour and the character of the beers. Essentially we looked at a range of different membranes um, against various organisms uh, and we found a membrane which was providing the right level of retention. So we also did studies based around life to blockage to make sure that the membrane which was attentive would also last for a period of time which was suitable. Um, and once we got those two things married up then we would take that concept forward and start looking at full product design and product testing. We've been trying to get a filter that has the optimum throughput, um, so it's been a challenge to get the um, morphology of the membrane correct and also the pre-filter correct so that we get the, the maximum throughput with the highest dirt holding capacity. We need a 0.45 membrane to take the microorganisms out, but then it's looking at the morphology of that to maximise the throughput so you can have asymmetric, symmetric, you can have varying levels of porosity. What we've looked at is the pre-filter is critical, um, so the pre-filter has a massive impact on the throughput of the filter. So we've looked at various pre-filtration stages as well and then use that to maximise the throughput through the, the microbial retentive membrane layer. The polyether sulfone that we use has a hydrophilization agent, so it's made hydrophilic and that stops it from um, binding components out of the beer that block it. So there are glucans in the beer which have a tendency to stick on surfaces and the chemistry has been optimised to stop that. We look at product qualification tests and uh, develop product development tests and one of the key performance characteristics was a CIP durable filter. We took one of our standard test rigs and retrofitted it and uh, developed a CIP durability test so effectively pulsing the, the pressure on the filters. We put in the BR uh, concept filter, uh, an alternative concept, a couple of benchmark filters and a competitive filter and we ran thousands of cycles and periodically took the filters out to integrity test them uh, to see which filter would fall over first. The uh, BR filter performed very favourably in that test. Once we'd identified what we thought was a strong concept in the previous stages, my objective was to take that into a real life application. It was an existing process that they were using in the brewing and the filtering of the beer. We installed our life to blockage rig down there and fixed it into their system. And then we used that to conduct the trials. And we tested three concepts in total. One which was to become the new BevPore BR and two other that we thought were potentially viable. Objective was to benchmark them in parallel against each other, like for like conditions, treat it exactly the same to sort of see which one would perform the best under the real conditions. When we came back, we, as well as analyzing the filters, we downloaded the data that we'd collected from the data logger and plotted it in order to see the blockage trends of each of the each of the three filters. Out of the three, BevPore BR was the one that had the, the least different differential pressure increase showing that it still had life remaining and that it hadn't blocked significantly by that point. So that identified it for us as the best concept to move forward with. So 
we operate to 9001 and it uh, makes sure that all of our production and documentation and test methods are fully controlled and consistent. And we operate using standard operating procedures in production which gives you the build methods and the test methods. So at each stage of production, the build is tightly controlled and the parts are tested according to validated methods. And then each product uh, is tested using an integrity test rig before it is packed for delivery to the customer. We focus on optimization of the customer's process with our filters. Every beer process is different. Any small changes in the formulation, small changes in CIP, anything that is different in the brew house, anything upstream could affect the filter. So we have to be able to support the customer in their process. The BevPort BR is the most recent addition to our microfiltration portfolio for the brewing industry. We are very excited about bringing this new innovation to market and very confident brewers will realise cost savings from this in the process. We have a great technical support team who are ready to work with our customers to roll out this new product.